Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Danielle. It is officially New York Fashion Week here in New York City. It's Wednesday, September 7th, yes, and it's the start of the events. Um, Fashion Week is always um, really fun, but also I feel like a lot of creators are starting to talk about it more online. It, it, it's very anxiety inducing because you definitely start to compare yourself to other people like, oh, did I get invited to this? Did I get invited to that? Oh, she's there. I'm not there. Or, you know, stressed about your outfits or do I look perfect? Like, there's a lot of pressure around it. And my mindset now is literally just like, I'm so, so grateful for the opportunities that I do get during this time and the events that I do get to go to. So just kind of enjoying those and just like really leaning into those, like getting my hair done, doing my makeup, whatever it may be for those and just having fun and not being like, oh my God, I'm not running from runway show to runway show. Like, it's not that deep, Danielle. <laughs> and I just want to like make this vlog because I want to show you guys, bring you guys along the way. I love watching other people's fashion week shows. I'm so obviously obsessed with fashion. Who isn't? It's so much fun and I love seeing the outfits people bring together. So tonight is the start. So this is going to be my New York Fashion Week vlog. I did one last time and you guys really liked it. I'm filming in my bathroom right now because it's a little dark outside. Anyways, tonight starts all the events. I'm so excited. Tonight I'm going to the, I don't know how to pronounce it, Long Champ, Long Champ, Long Champ, whatever, maybe um, event that I'm really excited about because I used to use long champ bags all the time and they're like doing a whole rebrand I feel like and like really back on the scene so I'm excited to see what their event is all about and then from there we I actually am dashing from event to event going to a sit down dinner I believe for Amanda Upperchard which is where my dress is from I'll show you guys in a second I love Amanda Upperchard stuff they also like have Amanda Upperchard on Fashion Pass and Revolve so I'm very familiar with the brand so when they invited me I was really excited. Brooke and I are both going to both of those um, so it works out great. We're just gonna drive there together and everything. Um, but yeah, it should be a really good night, a good start to the week. Um, we've got a lot of Revolve events this weekend. We have, what else, a little Cynthia Rally, a little Alice and Olivia. We're doing some really cool stuff and I'm so grateful so I'm gonna show you guys my outfit now. Here is the outfit for tonight. I feel so girly and fun. It's definitely summery and I feel like literally after Labor Day in the city everyone's like it's fall um, dress. Amanda Upperchurch. I love it. It's my last little couple weeks of wearing I guess like summery dresses. I think this is so cute. It has pockets which we love. These shoes are Steve Madden. Can we just take a moment? They're so flattering on the leg. They have them in other colors too, I'm aware. And I just love these. They're so comfortable, which is always important. And then I have a Rebecca Minkoff bag. I'm actually going to their event on Friday. So love that. I went to the dry bar. I always get the straight up blowout and I asked them to do rounded in ends. So rounded in. And then I just did my own makeup tonight. So yeah, oh, <laughs> the elephant in the room. Um, as you guys know, I'm moving very soon. I sold my couch to my friend Caroline, so it's in a good home, but yes. So she's taken the couch, prepping for my move. It's really funny. It's so reminiscent of literally last year during Fashion Week. I didn't have a couch, so it's just all reminiscent. The couch saga continues, but I do have a couch. It's just being held in the warehouse until it's ready to be delivered to my next place, so no worries there. Um, but yeah. I'm excited, I'm in a good mood. I feel good in my outfit, which is always super important. I feel like, I don't know, Brooke and I talked about this on Gals on the Go, but like just feeling good whenever you're wearing, I feel like just exudes confidence way more than if you're trying to like fit into this really cool funky outfit. Like if you don't feel good in it, it's gonna show. So I feel good in this, I'm excited. Let's go get Brooke and start the night of events. sitting on my floor because why not um tonight was so lovely so lovely just so lovely um i really can't say enough good things about it i love the amanda upperchurch brand amanda upperchurch herself was there which is always really cool and surreal getting to meet the designers and a ton of my friends were there so that was really really fun and it was just like a really nice kickoff it was in this beautiful venue the music was so good like it was just so great and i really i feel bad like i didn't really vlog there i just took little clips but it was really cool. 
Um, and now I, I have clothes all over my bed. Um, and I kind of still have energy right now. It's 11 o'clock. So I think I might put on the podcast and like try and clean. Cause if I wake up tomorrow in chaos, like it'll just be a bad start to my day. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm really happy. I, go I went to the dry bar today. Oh yeah. I told you guys that I'm really happy. I did that. Cause I feel like my hair is at like this awkward length right now. And I've just been like not loving my hair. So I just keep slicking it back, which I love. But whenever I go to the dry bar, I feel better about my hair and then in photos and everything. I'm not self-conscious, whatever. Do what makes you feel good, like I've been saying all day. Anyways, yeah, tomorrow we're waking up. I've been on my Pilates journey recently. So I'm going to New York Pilates tomorrow with my friend Seb to start off the week or the day. Tomorrow's Thursday, not the week. And yeah, tomorrow's the big Revolve Gallery. I'm getting my hair and makeup done tomorrow, which I've only done one other time for a movie premiere. So... I'm excited to do that and see a ton of my friends that came into town for Revolve Gallery. So that'll be really cool. Yeah. Yay, my bed is clear. I never actually made it today, which is not a vibe, but I'm just about to get back into it. I'm currently reading In Five Years. It's by Rebecca Searle. It's taking a little bit of a sad turn. Um, I started it on Monday morning. It's Wednesday and I'm already 60% through, which if you guys know, I read really slow. It's a quick book, but I'm just like so interested in it. The writing, it t they go to the Hamptons, they talk about all these New York places that I've been. Like it's very New York based, so definitely suggest it's a really quick read. So I'm reading that right now. I'm excited to go to bed and read a little bit of that. I just put some self tanner on my face. I use the Tan Lux Drops. Love them. You wake up and you're a glowing gal. So yeah. That's all. I'll see you guys in the morning. Pilates today was so hard. I just went to Whole Foods on my way back. I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, the first time I went to Pilates was last week, and I don't know if it was just like, it was the same instructor, everything. It was just like not, it was hard, but like I wasn't dying. Today, I don't know if it's because I went to Jane yesterday. I did personal training yesterday, so my I was like a little sore. Oh my God, my core. Like I need to, honestly, that's why I was using my Theragun this morning because it really helps like, with soreness and stuff. I need to like use this tonight because I refuse to be sore tomorrow where I can't walk, especially because I'm wearing heels all weekend, like silliness, but it was a good workout nonetheless. It was just really, really hard. I had to take a lot of breaks. It's just like muscles like don't really work. It's like, li it's kind of like pure bar in a way because you're like doing these little movements on the reformer. Anyways, oh, and then I went to Whole Foods and this guy fully tried to hit on me. And honestly, I need to know like who taught him to do this. He comes up to me, he's like, are you from like Denmark or something? And I was like, no, he's like, oh, you give off European vibes. I thought you looked like Matilda Jerf. So I had to come up to you and I was like, that is the biggest compliment ever. But then I was like, I have a boyfriend, sorry. And he was like, oh, <laughs> it's really funny. Um, but I just need to know who taught him to say Matilda Jerf because someone taught him to do that and it was a compliment and I will take that. Okay, quick mini um, Whole Foods haul. I didn't get much, but I did get some arugula. I love doing like arugula with mozzarella. Oh, I forgot tomatoes again. I meant to get tomatoes, like little cherry tomatoes. It's okay, I can get that later. Little mozzarella balls with arugula, Italian dressing, tomatoes, and um, chicken, like breaded chicken. Oh, so good. I also just got some fresh sourdough. So good, like just in case I want that. I got some more just like breaded chicken for the freezer. I just like break it up and I put it on top of my salad. Um, I got some frozen broccoli for when I'm ready to make that. Been into cantaloupe lately, so we did that. I got cauliflower sandwich thins, you guys. My dad introduced these to me when I was at home last weekend. They are so good. 
They have protein, they have four grams of net carbs, like they are just so delicious. And that's coming from me, Carb Queen. Like I love bread. But these are really, really delicious and I feel like I could put turkey and some avocado and tomato on there and it's like a really good sandwich. On that note, I got more turkey. I'm in my turkey era and that is actually all. So I'm gonna put these things away. Again, it's nothing much. And then I want to clean up around here. I have so many like bags and just like random stuff. I didn't make my bed before I left. Um, I just wanna make it look a little bit more presentable in here because in a couple short hours, um, Kat, an amazing makeup artist, also a good friend of mine, and I'm having a hairstylist come as well. So I'm doing hair and makeup at the same time. It's the Revolve Gallery opening. It's like a red carpet, I believe. So, you know, I just thought I'd do it up today. Maybe do like a cool slick back situation, whatever she wants to do. But yeah, so I'm sure they're gonna like want to put stuff on the table and stuff, so I just want to clean up. They're going to be like, you don't have a couch? I'm going to be like, it's a long story, so. All right, it looks a lot better in here. I cleared the table. I assume I'll probably sit here to do makeup. Sometimes Kat brings her own chair. Um, made my bed. I showered. I'm doing some laundry. I just have some MAC lip conditioner on right now. This is my outfit. I like to wear either a robe or like something zip up so that when I, you know, have to get dressed, I'm not pulling this over my head with all the makeup. I'm so excited. I haven't got my makeup done in a little bit, especially my hair. I love having my hair done because I really just haven't been liking doing my hair like I was talking about yesterday. So, should be fun. I have someone named Valerie coming to do my hair. I've never had her do my hair so, but she, I looked at her Instagram and she has a great portfolio. So I'm excited to meet her. And it's always so crazy having your makeup and hair being done in tandem. Like it's so trippy to me. Hey guys, we have a lot going on. Cat and Val. Oh, that's Hi. a cute little cat and Val. Oh my god, I like yeah. that. <laughs> I like it. You guys can go into business together. They are snatching me up right now in all yeah. kinds of ways. I'm I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh. This see the thing is though when you do glam, then you just want it every single day because like, like that every day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're like, oh my gosh. Guys, oh my gosh, I'm literally like snatched. Like I like feel like I have to stay like perfect posture. Um cat just in my makeup. It looks so good. Yeah, I don't think we've ever done this so like intense good. of an eye. No, and I'm I really obsessed it. with it. Thank I you so it. much. Yay. Yay. A round of applause for her kit. I always love taking a good photo. Oh, I never posted the kit. Woo, <laughs> 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 the things we do. Okay, okay maybe a little. <laughs> All right guys, about to head to the Revolve Gallery opening. Seriously, shout out Valerie for the hair and Kat for the makeup. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit in the mirror, but I'm so happy. I don't really usually do dark eyes like this. Here is the full fit dresses Revolve. Obviously, I believe it's NBD. I'll link it below for you guys. A little brown moment, I love the cutout. Katie's coming with me, so I'm gonna pick her up along the way. And then I'm wearing these shoes, they're from Revolve. I forget the brand, I'll also link them below. I love them. They like, they look like they're the wraparound ones, but there's no tie, so I don't have to worry about them untying. And they're comfortable because they've got the platform. I mean, talk to me in a couple hours, but we shall see. And then I'm gonna use this Bottega bag, and we're good to go. Hello, darling. Hello. You look so good. We're both wearing brown. I love this for us. We're wearing our brown. You went with the lighter accessories. I went with the darker accessories. Oh, yes. That's so, look at great observation. But you, you're wearing a lighter brown. A yeah, true, true. This I, is all true. I didn't know which way to go. Is it? I you think you crushed it. Bottega, Bottega, Bottega oh girlies. God. Wait, I'm so excited for us. You look beautiful. Thank Yay. you. So do you. Oh, Miss Glammed up. <laughs> I know, guys. When Katie, when I picked her up, Katie was like, whoa, hello. I knew it was you, but I like didn't know it was you. you I feel know? like some people would be like, who are you? Because I just don't, <laughs> like when I do my own makeup, like I just don't know how to do all this eye makeup, so I just never do. Whereas like you guys are all so good at it. So I feel like it's like more of a it's shock so factor. Cam, or cat. I always say Cam. I know, because her Instagram Cam, is. Cat. Cat. I always say Cam, you need to change your Instagram. I know. She crushed it. <laughs> Yay, off to the Revolve Gallery. Alright, 
what was our how'd you like it it was really cool it was so fun so overstimulating there's so many people like david dobrik was there like every person you could like, think of elsa haas Olivia like, Colpo. But it was such a good mix of like social media people, but like also but, like, real famous people. Everyone's screaming. Like there's just Nick Vile. I'm overstimulated. Fan. That's yes. the perfect way to say it, it. We literally were like, if you guys ever went to Play Us Live or VidCon, it felt like that. Like there's just people from all over there. So yeah, thanks for this is fun. Did you see that cute guy that just walked by? There are so many. Cute guys. He looked at us. <laughs> oh my god, cutie, wait, go get wait. his number. Bring it back. Oh yeah, back. rewind, rewind. Let's see if we found him. Okay, we have changed. Here's the look. I love this. It's from Tata PR. She's based out of LA and she represents a ton of different brands. I literally love this so much. I sent her a Pinterest photo of like inspo I have for Fashion Week and she was like, this top is literally like, I sent the same one in gray basically. Jeans are good American. I'm just wearing some Dolce Vita heels. I just, they're a little bit comfier. Same bag, I switched into just some different gold hoops. I'm so excited for this Vogue event. Apparently Joe Jonas is either performing or attending, I don't really know. So, very excited about that. About to head over with Brooke. I'm excited to see Brooke, let's go! Oh my gosh, you guys. We just like need to talk. I just got back. Today was so cool. Today was so cool and I just loved my looks. I felt good in my outfits, my hair, makeup, like that's like the best. Sorry about this angle, it's just gonna happen. I feel like I didn't really get to talk to you guys. It was just lots of socialization, lots of things happening, not a lot of time to like take video clips. Um, I am just so thankful. Like tonight, like today's one of those days I'm like holy shit, like this is my life and this is what I do and like back in 2010 when on June 24th when I started this channel the makeup by Danielle like who would have thought I'd be going to a Vogue party like and that was like a legit so I went to Revolve which was so cool like David Dobrik was there I think I already said this but like Elsa Hosk, Olivia Culpo, Sierra the singer I mean like it was so cool then, like I said, I came back here, changed into this outfit that I'm obsessed with, went to this Vogue party. Guys, it was like a Vogue party. It was at the Boom Boom Room at the Standard Hotel by the High Line. So sick. I've always seen like photos of this place. I've never gone. Timothy Shell, he was there. Um, Joe Jonas, Julia Fox. I'm blanking on other things right now, but it was just so cool. And I was like, I can't believe like I'm here. So. It all comes down to you guys. Thank you so much, like, for following me and supporting me. I met some of you guys that were, like, standing outside of the party. I was, like, honestly, a smart move. You get to see everyone that you watch or follow or watch on TV, whatever it may be. So, yeah. Now I'm sitting here, and I just don't want to take my hair out. I mean, I'm, my hair is ready. Like, it's going to be a big release. But also, like, I have events tomorrow, and I'm, like, she said, she's, like, this will last you two days. Like, I'm almost kind of wondering. <laughs> Which is crazy. And like I probably shouldn't. If I should just like take this part out. But like keep this. But also like. Or I could just take it all out. But my hair would probably be pretty slicked still. So I could like re-slick it in the morning. I don't really know. I don't know what to do. Anyway. That is that. It's 10.30. It's not that late. I People were going out after. And I was like you know. I had one drink this whole night. I don't need to start now. And I just wasn't really in the mood. Because this weekend I feel like I'm going to be going out tomorrow a lot. Tomorrow morning I have workout at 9.30 with Jane and Katie. Cynthia Rally fitting. Revolve gifting suite. Oh, I think I'm going to get my third, year pier or third piercing tomorrow. Because Adina's jewels. Or she's rebranding to Adina Eden. She's doing free piercings tomorrow, and me and Margot Lee were like, should we go? Like, I don't know why. I don't know who I am right now, but I kind of want my third piercing. So I feel like I'd just love to have, like, a whole earscape going on, feeling funky. So we're going to do that, and then Rebecca Minkoff presentation. And then also there's a Sherry Hill Fashion Week show that I'm going to try to get to. And then tomorrow night, Revolve is doing, like, a club night, and I can bring Ryan. So it could be fun. So we'll see. 
I'm feeling very overwhelmed right now. All good things, but my dad comes on Sunday. Um, so there's that. And he's coming for a few days. And then the day he leaves, a ton of my friends are flying up for my birthday. Because I'm having like a big birthday party next weekend. And I didn't like think about it. Like he leaves the same day more of my friends come. And like I've literally talked about how like visitors have been stressing me out. <laughs> but I asked my friends from college to come up for my birthday. So that's on me. But um, I just like I just can't stop it. I want to be around all my favorite people at all times. And I always have so much fun with them and they make me happy. So I think it's really important to surround yourself with those people. But they're getting a hotel, which is huge for the program. So I don't have to like host them here. I think my friend Caitlin's going to stay with me, but everyone else is getting a hotel. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. I don't want to take off my makeup. Kat literally crushed it. My makeup is still on. Valerie crushed the hair. Like she taught me some tricks on how to do my own slick back. I love this. I just, I, I felt good today. And it's always... I'll be at a great day, not just a good day. Anyways, I thanks for listening. <laughs> oh my god, I did it! It took bobby pins and hair ties. I'd slowly take them out. Oh my gosh, like the way my face just like went back to normal. <laughs> it was really snatching me. Like literally, I saw the difference when I pulled the hair down. Oh my god, the relief is there. I'm like, is there anything else in my hair? I, I swear, I really just want to sleep like this tomorrow so that in the morning I can just like kind of pull it back again. But also, oh, that feels so good. Good morning, everybody. I am getting ready to head out the door to head to training. I slept great last night. I feel very well rested. I think because I like I went to bed before midnight. I think I don't really know um, My hair is like kind of slicked back right now I didn't really have the energy, but I think I'm gonna Recycle that hair look today and attempt to do it myself in some capacity And then I'll wash my hair um, Anyways What was I gonna say one of the best things I've ever done is so everyone I feel like everyone has like some sort of clock in their kitchen like it's the microwave usually for me It's my toaster Which is weird Um, I set it for like four minutes faster and it just helps me because I tend to run late for training Because it's like a 20 25 minute walk, but I would rather walk there and it's just the best thing I ever did. Like so I was like, oh my god I'm so late, but no, it's a little um Whatever, it's slow, or it's fast. You know, it's fast. So, just getting the things this morning. I'm just feeling so grateful. Like, I just, this week is so cool and so fun. And I feel like if you, like, I'm just like not stressing about it. I'm not comparing myself to other people, which I usually do. And I'm like, I'm having fun with what I'm getting to do. You know, like lean into what your life is. So, yeah. Anyways. Oh, that's what I was getting, water. We're gonna head out, attack the day. See you guys in a bit. is complete. I just got a breakfast burrito at my local bodega. Oh, that looks so good. It is sausage and I asked them to add black beans. It's sausage, egg, and potato. Then I asked them to add black beans and avocado. And I just think this is going to do me right. Need a little extra energy today. We've got a lot going on. Drinking one of these Celsius Arctic vibes. I've talked about these before in my vlogs. They're so good. I also just feel like when I drink them, it's like soaking up that last bit of summer, you know? And they give me great energy. They taste so good. This is one of their newer flavors, I believe. It's called Arctic Vibe, like I was saying. It's sparkling frozen berry. 
So we love, I have a couple of their other flavors too. I'm like stocked with Celsius right now too. So when people come over, they're like, can I have a Celsius? Cause they're like, no, I have one. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to enjoy my food, my burrito, my Celsius, cheers. All right, we are heading to my fitting for the Cynthia Rowley show next week. And then I'm going to the Revolve gifting suite, um, which will be fun. I'm like obsessed with these sunglasses. Got my Celsius pants or local European. I'm excited. I like also love this outfit. I love baggy pants and a tiny top. Let's go. left the gifting suite my bag's so heavy <laughs> I, and it already broke so I'm like hoisting it over my shoulder okay guys we are ready for the next event look at Danielle doing updos I just figured I was gonna do a slick back again and then my hair accidentally fell and I was like like the front pieces and I was like you know what let's just send it and do some face framers I don't know this could look ridiculous but I feel like from the front it looks chic dress is from this boutique I got it it's a boutique in NoHo. It's like a all women New York City locally owned like boutique. Like it's a ton of it's like a ton of pop up shops in one, and it's there. It's not pop up though. They said they're there like for permanent. So, anyways, love this dress. So cute. I've been wanting to wear it. Boots are Franco Sarto. Fall is in the air. I'm wearing boots, baby. I love these. They're so flattering on the legs. Bag is Rebecca Minkoff because we are going to the Rebecca Minkoff presentation. I'm so excited. Rebecca Minkoff was my first designer bag. So pretty, pretty pumped. That and uh, Kate Spade. I forget which one was actually first, but you guys know the gist. So yeah, I'm excited. But first, I'm actually meeting Margot Lee. <laughs> Adina's Jewels. She's now rebranded as Adina Eden. She has a store in Nolita in Soho, basically. And... She was like, I'm doing free piercings today. And I don't know why, but I've been wanting a third. I'm just into the earscapes right now. And like, if one day I don't want it, the, the hole will grow back, right? Like, I just feel like a third piercing would be so fun. I have my hair up today. Margo said she wants to do it too. So we were like, let's go before the Rebecca show and just do it. I'm nervous because needles freak me out. But I'm excited because the last time when I got my second ears pierced is actually the day I met Ryan, my second piercing. I went to a tattoo shop in Athens and all they have are these like gunmetal studs. And I had to, I like didn't realize like when they were in, I had to wear it for like two, three months. So Adina's Jewels will have a lot more options that I would like to have in my ear for a lot longer time. So I'm excited, I'm nervous, but it'll be so fun. I just took Advil <laughs> in case because I remember like when I sleep at night, like with the piercing, but oh well. Let's go have an adventure. show was so cool I love the way she presented her designs and saw a lot of friends that was fun and then we did an impromptu 
photo shoot and I finally got to see Audrey Challenger who moved to the city in July and we've been trying to meet up and we still hadn't seen each other, which is crazy. And her and I are just very similar, like upbeat energy and I just love being around her. Might end up seeing her tonight, we shall see, but it was really fun to see her and hang out with everybody. And now, Ryan and I are gonna go to dinner and then maybe go out. The Revolve's having like a club night tonight. So that's the goal, but honestly, I don't know if I can do a club right now, but I, I don't know, we shall see. But I get to bring Ryan to that, which would be fun. But either way, I'm gonna hang out with Ryan because we've been like ships passing in the night this week, so I'm excited to see him. I don't even think I told him. I don't think he saw my um, story that I got an ear piercing and I was like, I'll just wait to tell him. But yeah, also guys, I was fully gonna come back and like keep my makeup on and just wash my hair because I was like, okay, I can't do this updo anymore. It's like hurting my head. Guys, this is my hair from the updo with all the gel from yesterday. I just brushed through it. I don't know, whatever. I need to ask her what product she used because it just brushes through so well. Like my hair is not sticky at all. And I just kind of like used my Dyson Air app to kind of round the ends a little bit. Here is my fit for tonight. I feel like a typical Danielle fashion, you know, the tiny top, big baggy bottoms situation. These aren't super baggy, but... I love them. This is the back. Just an all black moment. A little Balenciaga bag. Super easy. This is for dinner with Ryan and then potentially going out after. I mean, that's like the plan. I'm like slowly fading, so I hope I gain some energy. But I'm excited to see Ryan and hang out and just have a night. Oh, really? I'll have to try. <laughs> Guys, I'm like chilly right now. There is a draft in the air. Summer's in. Ryan's like, do you need my t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? We had a lovely dinner. Oh my God, I'm cold. We're going back to Wicked Willies. We'll be there on Sunday too. It's gonna get cold too. Because it's the Buccaneers bar and there's a Bucks game on Sunday. And my dad will be here, so that'll be perfect. Um, oh my God, I'm cold. Cool. Anyways. They have this drink that I edited a little bit that I showed in another vlog, but it's a blueberry lemonade. That's all you need to know. Okay guys, Ryan was just getting me excited. We're not going to Wicked Willie's right now because we've already been there and he wants to try other places. So we're gonna do a little bar hopping before our friends are done with dinner and then we'll meet up with our friends. nice morning with Ryan. We went to Leon's Bagels, ate them in Washington Square Park, and then I biked back. Um, I'm just cleaning my apartment as I always do. I showered. I'm doing some eye patches. I gotta take the trash out. Cat's about to come here. It's Saturday, by the way. Um, game day. Go dogs. <laughs> but I don't think I was sad. I didn't get to go to the Georgia Bar last weekend because we were in Florida. And I don't think I'm gonna make it today because I have an event at five and the game's at four, but I'm literally gonna be watching on my phone. But also, we're playing a team that we're probably gonna beat them. It's kind of that vibe. Love the school, but we're probably gonna beat them. And if they beat us, then that's gonna be really scary. Um, so I'm like not too, it's not like a pressing game, so I feel okay missing it. Um, but yeah, today we have Alice and Olivia. I'm so excited. Rumor has it, Kylan, from TikTok, from Bama Rush Talk, is like in New York for Fashion Week with Alice and Olivia. So Burke and I are texting like she's for sure gonna be there. Like, oh, like I'm for sure gonna ask her for a photo. Like I hope you're having a great day, not just a good day. I, I'm so excited. And I think his name is Grant. He also went through Bama TikTok or recruitment, and he's here with Alice and Olivia. I'm just like so excited. They have like some Bama Rush people here, so that'll be fun. I really wanna try and make it to Jane's elopement party, but um, I'm gonna see if I can make it with everything. Oh my gosh, what's happening here? And then tonight Revolve is doing a TikTok night. It's basically just like a party at the gallery. Like, I think it's like for a few hours and they invited a lot of TikTokers. I have no idea how I made that cut. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not a TikToker, I just make TikToks. But I'm friends with a ton of them, so I'm excited to see them, and I'm gonna bring Ryan to this. So I'm excited for him to meet like the Revolve people, and I mean, he knows like a lot of the people that are gonna be there anyway. So it's gonna be fun. I've got two outfits I'm wearing today, um, so I'll show you guys them later. 
and yeah cat's on her way i wanted to get my makeup done today i'm not getting my hair done today um so i'm probably just gonna do like a slick pony nothing will be as good as when she did it but i'm excited to have my makeup done at least and yeah that's that okay cat is almost here we're going to crack open another celsius cheers you guys cat's here and gotta do the kit shot so hot we love doing makeup right now i'm like trying not to fully look at it but i'm like really obsessed with what i'm seeing yeah. and we've got the dogs on so that's happening go dogs baby stick them wolf <laughs> also glam i am so happy with this makeup now i have to do my hair i'm gonna do this but i'm just gonna like slick it back more and have it be a pony maybe i'll like dice an arrow up the ends to flip up but i doubt it'll stay even but thank you cat all right it's a pantsuit type of day i will link this below for you guys i love it there's some shoulder pads in it love this light blue color needed some height because i didn't have time to get these like hemmed but i'm kind of liking the slouchy look um I'm wearing my steve mountain platforms and then she's wearing a little bralette underneath who is she um but i've seen a lot of people do that and i just really love the vibe because you can barely see it it's just like a little peekaboo so yeah that's what we're working with i slicked back my hair as best i could earrings i've got my third piercing now which is so crazy and then i'm gonna use the stod moon bag we're gonna pick up brooke head over to alice and olivia let's do it here with brooke pink Hi. and blue it's giving gender reveal party <laughs> Oh my god. Dress like the color you think it is. <laughs> Have you seen those TikToks of like the families and they're like, hi, I'm the mama and I'm Athens. Oh my god. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm the mama. I'm the I'm, grandmama. Yeah, and I yeah. think. I'm so good. Auntie, I'm, and I think it's gonna be <laughs> a great day, not just a good day. Guys, I think we're literally about to meet Kylan. We're gonna like go up to her, right? Um one hundred percent. I Kylan. I'm gonna beeline it for her. I think What I'm, are you gonna say? Like I love you? Or yeah, like, like I I feel like we have to, you know, like, be honest. Like, like we went I'm, to Georgia, we love seeing your content. Yeah. But like go dogs. Our, uh, rush days. Bama um, just won by one point, you know. Yeah. We'll talk to you about football. <laughs> I'm like nervous. We'll be fine. I was wondering because I've been like talking to other people about her, like in New York and they're like, Who's that? So we might be like the people that go up to her that, know her. Like, that know her, you know, like we might yeah. get to like well, chat with her. The thing is, the, every time we've gone to this show, there's always like this one specific. It's a presentation. There's people that are like famous, you know, or like like uh, Victoria Justice was at it one time. Oh, like, you I know? see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like they one. get they get some people to come out to this one. Very like nice. um, who else? They always get the dance mom girlies. They're always here. You're so right. So I feel like in a room full of people that are. It's, I don't know, fame's like a weird thing to like measure, you know, but like objectively more. Like, I don't know how to describe I'm it. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I know, it's big, big night for Brooke and Big Danny. night for Brooke and Danny. <laughs> Hi, uh... Sorry, this angle sucks. My camera is just like really doing what it can so I can film. Guys, I met she's so cute oh my gosh she was totally overwhelmed because like literally if you think about it she like got famous three weeks ago it's, it's actually insane because so i went to get a drink with peyton and then brooke texted me like hurry come quick with kylan and i was like of course like i don't even always drink at these events and i was like i want to drink right now and then i lost the chance brooke like did a video with her and everything like hope you're having a great day not just a good day and there were other t um, Bama restaurant people there as well as Auburn. And I met a girl who watched my videos and she was like there with Allison Love You too. So shout out Caroline. She was so sweet. Um, but I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just touching up a little bit. The event was amazing. Like David Dobrik, once again, he was there, which was crazy. Todd and his girlfriend, Natalie, who else was there of note? Um, a lot of like people. Allison Love always does really cool events. So that was fun. And now I'm just touching up. I'm gonna have to like put some more hairspray on the slick back. I'm bringing Ryan to a Revolve event. I think this is his first Revolve event. I'm a little stressed because this event tonight, they've had like a few events throughout the week. 
This event tonight is their TikTok night. And I don't really know what that entails. Like they said it's like a party, but like also I feel like people are going to be making TikToks and I, you know, YouTube's my main platform and then my podcast and then Instagram and then TikTok like for fun. But, um, well, that might have been too much concealer, but I just needed some more there. Um, whenever I go to these events, all the TikTokers have, like, sounds saved already and, like, ready to go. Like, okay, Danielle, will you make this TikTok with me? I have it saved. Okay, I need four people. I need two girls, two guys. I'm like, what? How do you guys think of this? But that's, like, their main platform. And the hustle is real, and I respect the heck out of it. So, yeah. But, you know. I'm sure they'll have a DJ, some drinks, and like Ryan knows a lot of the people that will be there, but he hasn't like met the Revolve team, so thought it'd be fun, and like Sarah and Caitlin will be there, and I adore them, and Anna Hyde will be there, which I'm excited, I think, I think Audrey too, so there's some people I really would like to see, and then Margo Lee is going too, and I'm like picking her up along the way, I'm picking her and Ryan up, so we're gonna all go together, I'm just doing a quick outfit change, I'm gonna wear a pink set now, and I really like it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, today's been a today has been a great day, not just a good day. Um, that's all I gotta say. That is all I gotta say. All right, here's the look of the night. I love this two-piece set from the Camila Kalejo collection. Obviously, on Revolve, I'll link it below. So flattering. I love it. It's a long. Skirt's got a little slit in the back. This top, so fun, I love, I just, I just love it. And then I'm just wearing the same Steve Madden white shoes, but I'm switching out for a little smaller white bag. All right, let's go get it one more time. Ryan, how'd you like your first Revolve event? Loved it. Shit. It was awesome. <laughs> he made <laughs> friends with all the boyfriends at this event. I have to pee, though. Bathrooms.